for those of us who don't know about these sort of things, what, what does one study and learn about at, when pursuing, uh, you know, security engineering at the PhD level? So what, like how much further up the ladder of study and creation is this from say a CISSP or a CISM cert? Yeah, sure. So essentially it's um, learning how to take a very complex cybersecurity problem or a security related problem in general. Okay and break it down into something that is more tangible. And so it's uh, a lot of, um, you know, breaking a problem down into like, here's, here's like the root cause and, um, and some of those components um, and understanding it to a point where you can then build all of that back up into a true design and a solution um, in a system that solves it. Um, and so I would say like that's at a, at a high level what it is. I think the mm -hmm. difference between that and let's say a, a certification um, is twofold. One, you're essentially in a PhD program creating something that doesn't exist, right? Versus learning um, what's the industry standard, which is what right. you, you do in a CISM okay. or a CISM. Um, and so, yeah, it, it, it was really about like, this is something new that I'm creating. But then I think the second piece in difference is um, a CISM or a CISSP or certifications in, in general, you're getting a, a broad um, overview or introduction or however you want to call it into um, the cybersecurity industry. Right? And so you learn about a lot of different domains, right. um, even if it's something more specific like an ethical hacking certification, for example, you're still learning about a ton of different um, elements and domains under that versus yeah, the way it's current, then. Yeah, versus in the uh, PhD program, it gets very specific. Like you start out, you know, trying to understand like the broader landscape, right? But then you really focus in on like this little needle piece and that's right. what you get really good at and try to solve for it. And I suppose you have to sort of decide for yourself to sort of like find a problem that you yourself are going to solve. Is that sort of? Right. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so uh, does the pursuit of a PhD in security engineering have business application or does it mostly pertain to work in higher education? Like, you know, a lot of PhD people, it's like, well, that just qualifies me to work as, you know, a doctor or something like that. Are you creating new processes and methods of security sort of in a business sphere? Um, do you have a specific area of study within your PhD? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think it definitely has business application for sure. I've used right. it at both ends because I use it in work. I've, I've um, taught uh, cybersecurity classes, and so it's been mm -hmm. twofold. Uh, but I'll first start by saying kind of what my focus was. So um, I was trying to solve the problem of identifying critical infrastructure assets at mm -hmm. a national level. And so I basically did a ton of research um, to build this. Um, it's called the like critical infrastructure identification system okay. uh, for the Department of Homeland Security. Oh, and so yeah. it's something that they could use to you know survey and, and analyze different systems and figure out what's truly critical that we need to protect. Because at the end of the day, right, in, in security in general and cybersecurity, like you can't protect everything, right? You have to know like what are your most critical assets. And so I was trying to, um, and, and did you know build a system to help uh, get better at that. Hmm. Now, where this applies in business is, you know, twofold. One, the general concept of a PhD in security engineering, again, is understanding a very complex problem, breaking it down and building a system to solve it. You do right. that every day. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Security, right? And so I think just getting into that thought process and getting really good at that helped me build so many um, solutions and so many systems mm -hmm. throughout my career that it made a huge difference. But then I feel like the the other piece for me, at least in, in my personal experience, is um, I I I always thought that I would get the PhD and and contribute this you know new knowledge that I created and it'd be great. And then later on down the road, after I had met all my career goals, I would go back and start teaching classes. I had no idea that I would teach. Um, classes, you know, one year out of right. that program. Um, but I did do that. And it's been like one of the most rewarding uh, things just to be able to, again, share that insight and help develop the next generation of cybersecurity professionals. And so um, I that's something that I wanted to do long term. But um, but yeah, it, it happened and, and it applies. And so I feel like it's it's such a win on both ends. New episodes of CyberWork are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to claim your free month of InfoSec skills. Sign up using the code CyberWork and you'll get unlimited access to hundreds of courses, hands-on labs, certification practice exams, skills assessments, and more. Use code CyberWork for InfoSec skills.